A standout runner with Hillcrest High School's Green Machine, this three-time captain and track athlete of the year honed his skills in a number of local competitions, often leading the pack in cross-country and road race events. His talents earned him a scholarship to Jacksonville University in 1983, where he remained until 1986. Competing successfully at running and triathlon events throughout the U.S., he set school records and went on to serve as an assistant coach with the team. Back on the local scene, his name was consistently in the headlines as he dominated running events, including the 1988 10-mile road race, a title he reclaimed in 1994. He decided to focus his attention on a full-time professional triathlon career, a sport that involves such challenges as swimming 1.5 kilometers, cycling 40 kilometers, and running another 10. Maintaining a grueling training and competition schedule, he competed in triathlons all across Canada and the U.S. In 1988, his efforts truly paid off with a ninth place finish at the over 1500 field USTS National Championships in Hilton Head and a fourth place showing at the Montreal World Triathlon. In 1989, he won the Triple Crown of Canadian Triathlon as the Canadian Short and Long Course Champion and the winner of the seven race Royal LePage Grand Prix Series pursue he does religiously day after day from his home in Hamilton it paid off in Calgary as white won the Canadian short course championship and he knows what he has to do to beat the best in the world his 13th place showing at the World Triathlon Championships in France sewed up the 1989 Canadian triathlete of the year honors for him his accomplishments also earned him a spot on the Canadian national triathlon team and a trip to the 1990 Commonwealth Games as team captain for the demonstration event following an impressive seventh place finish in the highly competitive 10 race u.s bud light triathlon series in 1991 paul decided to push his limits a little further training for the grueling ironman entering his first ironman competition in 1992 he proved his incredible athletic skill placing sixth amongst the field of 1400 and crossing the finish line as the top canadian in the event Next up was the grueling Hawaii Ironman World Triathlon Championships, where his 32nd place top Canadian finish guaranteed him the title of the 1992 Canadian Ironman of the Year. For the next five years, this incredible athlete continued to put in impressive performances at races around the country and around the world, never falling below an eighth place ranking in Canadian National or Ironman Canada events. All throughout his career, Paul enjoyed the support of his family, crediting his parents for his early involvement. So you wonder why the attraction to the triathlon? It uh, just sort of evolved. The cycling was just sort of a natural. I did a lot of riding as a, as a kid, and, you know, I had to ride everywhere. My parents wouldn't drive me, so I, I got used to riding like that. And the swimming, we had a cottage. I was always in the water in the summertime. And White like turned 31 yesterday. He spends between four and six hours a day training. In preparation for the Canadian Championships in Kelowna, B.C. next month, he's already qualified to represent Canada at the World Championships in Huntsville, Ontario in September. Eventually, he plans to be a lawyer, but for now, he follows the sun and supports his passion working various jobs. Retiring from professional competition in 1998, Paul continued his involvement in the sport as an athlete and as a builder, serving as the triathlon representative on the Canadian Olympic Association Athletes Council and passing on the knowledge he gained from his incredibly successful career as one of Canada's finest triathletes. <laughs>